Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video today. I do want to apologize in advance. It's a little breezy out here and there's a lot of construction going on around the surrounding areas. So it may be a little bit noisy, but we'll get it done. So today we're installing some Noble rain guards. These are the zero point rain guards. They're gonna come in a box just like this. Go ahead, grab one, slide it out, inspect it. Everything's good to go. Make sure you got the right thing. Once we're good to go, I recommend getting yourself some isopropyl alcohol. This is only 70% because I couldn't find a higher percentage, but this should work, get the job done. I went over, cleaned it all with a microfiber towel, and now I'm actually just gonna go over it one more time with a shop rag, just to ensure that there's no lint left behind. Gotta take the alcohol, put it on the rag, just wipe in one motion, that should be all you need. Now I can see I picked up a little bit of dirt on that. I didn't think, I already cleaned these so I didn't think it was dirty, but I picked up some dirt. So you just always wanna make sure you have a really nice clean surface to work with. So now remove one of your rain guards, pull it out of the plastic. So as you can see, it's a pretty neat rain guard. Uh, it's pretty different from other ones on the market. As you can see, it has like this little body line in it. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I haven't seen any other ones like this on the market. So there goes my paper, I gotta go get that. But there you can see how it's gonna sit. It'll give you a different look. It's a really nice dark tint to it, so you can see through it, but it's dark. So once it's on the window, it almost looks black. So now we have our rain guards. We can actually go ahead and just peel up this 3M tape. Get a corner, kinda get your nail under it. It's never fun trying to peel this stuff, but we'll go ahead and we'll peel just that front section, just like that. You don't want to tamper with that too much. And then we're going to come down here, do the same thing with this bottom. Just peel the bottom section. You don't have to peel the whole thing. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you, this is how I like to install these. That way you can get it perfectly lined up and you don't have to like try and nail it on the first try. Get it lined up about where you want it. Now there's two corners that you peeled up. Go ahead and stick that down once you have it right about where you want it. Then come down to the other corner and stick that down. Make sure that the whole thing is exactly where you want it. And now these little tails that we created, we can start pulling them. And as we pull them, this is gonna stay aligned, but it's gonna allow that 3M tape to stick. You see how we're pulling that out? That way you ensure it goes exactly where you want it to go. Now that we did that, we can press it down. Do the same thing for this piece back here. So at room temperature, 3M tape actually takes 20 full minutes to reach 90% of its strength. It won't reach 100% until 24 hours have passed, but at 90%, you should be pretty good. All I'm saying is I would not install these and immediately hit the road. I'd give it like 20, 30 minutes before you start to drive the car. But besides that, you should be good. So now go ahead and grab one of your rears. Slide that out of the bag, and you can see that design continues on from the front, which is really cool. I love this design. Same thing, just double check the fitment's good, everything's, we're good to go. Now we'll do the same thing. We are going to take and peel just a corner of our tape, leave a little tail hanging out. Do the same thing for the top. Actually, I wanna do the other corner just to make sure we have both sides down. Peel that up. Leave just a little bit of the tag coming out of the top. Now we're gonna line this up to where we want it, press down just that corner. And again, the purpose of doing this is so that if you don't have it exactly how you want it, you can move it, it's not permanently stuck. If you don't do this and you get it laid down the wrong way the first time, you might have some issues with it. So now that I have that, push down that corner where I want it, just verify, looks good. So now we can peel the rest of this tape, pull on the tail, pop it up, push it down. Come over here, grab the tail. You can kind of push it down as you're pulling it. Just careful not to rip the 3M tape uh, backing while it's behind there because then you'll have to take it off and start over. So 
it's getting a little tight in there so trying to be careful but we did get it so now we'll press this down again wait about 20 minutes before we hit the road with this just so they don't you know they're at pretty much full strength by then and we're good to go so go ahead do the same thing on the other side it's that easy and you have these nice aggressive looking rain guards. Maybe a little comparison here are the OEM style rain guards. Now you may prefer this style or you may not. And here is our zero point style. So you can definitely see it's a lot more aggressive. And if you like that sort of thing, these are just right for you. They're also gonna keep you dry when it's raining a little bit and you wanna have your window cracked. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you found this install helpful. Uh, they're very easy, very straightforward, and hopefully this gives you an idea of how this design looks in person. Um, I do like them. They're nice and aggressive, and I love the dark tint on them. Uh, so if you want to pick up a set, you can go to importimageracing.com and go in the search bar and type in Noble Performance, and these will be right there on that list of parts that we offer. And if you want to go the easier route, you can go into the description of this video and click a direct link straight to these rain guards and buy them that way. If the style's not for you, we're going to be offering some more styles here soon, so stay tuned for that. And that's going to be it for today's video, guys, so I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.